Well, thanks to Boardroom for Bounce House for inspiring today's video because I'm gonna show you how to do this and this using Canva. And make sure you stay till the very end while I show you how to remove your green screen along with how to get rid of this little box even if you're using green in your logo. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is go to canva.com and then select create a design. This is going to give you your template. You're gonna to wanna to click on custom size and then you want this to match what you're going to render your video out in. So if you normally do 1080p, you're gonna do 1920 by 1080 and make sure it says pixels and then create new design. If you're a person that renders in 4K, you're gonna change this to 3840 by 2160. The next thing you wanna do is change this to be a green screen. So you're gonna go ahead and click on your template and then up here where it says background color, you can go ahead and click on that. And then I like to start with the default colors down here. I picked this grass green one and then I feel like this is still a little bit too bright. So I will go to where it says new color and then you can adjust this to make it brighter or dim. What's really nice about this is you can copy it. So if you're working with anything or you accidentally delete it, you can go to new color and then you can just paste this back in and it'll give you your green screen color. So once you have your green screen, you can go ahead and place your subscribe button on here. So there's a couple of different options you can do. First thing you wanna do is come over to the side where it says element. In the search bar up here, just search subscribe, and you can go ahead and choose one of the subscribe elements down here. So I'm actually going to do this one because it looks like the mouse is clicking. You can resize this to the middle and then change this in your editing software. Or if you normally know you're gonna place it like in your lower thirds or maybe off to the side, you can go ahead and place this here already. So this way you don't have to do anything in your editor besides remove the green screen And then you can click positions and then just do center and middle to make sure it lines up perfectly If you want to change any of these colors say you want the mouse to be black instead of gray Come up to the colors here and you can change the color there All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this now to animate this You're going to click off of the screen here to where you see animate go ahead and click on that And then you can choose any of these to go ahead and animate your subscribe button I like mine to look like it's being clicked on or it's being pushed so I'm gonna use the pop the next thing I'm gonna do is change the timer up here to about three seconds so from there you can go ahead and come up here to where it says play just to see what it looks like Okay, so once you're done with this one, you're going to add a page by selecting this middle icon here that says duplicate page. And then I'm going to just delete the subscribe from the second page. We're gonna go back to elements and you're gonna search for bell. From there, I'm going to grab something that looks like the notification bell. So I'm just gonna do this one right here. Go ahead and resize this. And then again, you can select positions and then do center and middle. This way it aligns with your subscribe button as well. For this one, I'm going to click off, go to where it says pop since you added a page it's gonna automatically bring the settings from your first page. So I'm going to change this to scrapbook. This way it looks like the bell is ringing and then I'm gonna keep it at two seconds to see what that looks like. It should say four seconds, two seconds for your first page, two seconds for your second page. Go ahead and play that and you can see what it looks like and there it rings and there you go. Once you are happy with this, you can go ahead and select download. Make sure it's at MP4 and download all pages. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is get the background. So you're gonna to go to elements, scroll down until you see shapes, and then choose any of the rectangle shapes. I'm going to choose this one because I like to have a little drop shadow, and then you're just going to resize this to get it um, where you'd like it. So I'm gonna do, 1571 by 297. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color. So the front gray one, I want to be white. I'm going to do this middle color in my branding teal color. And then this darker color, I'm actually gonna change that to black. Okay, next thing I wanna do is I want to add my photo here. So I'm gonna go back to element. I'm gonna go to where it says frames and select this one here. You can go ahead and select see all to see if there's a different frame that you'd want. I just wanna do a circle, so I'm gonna do this and resize it to fit in the middle here. Okay, once you get this lined up to where you'd like it, you have to go ahead and upload the photo you wanna choose. I already have mine uploaded, so I'm gonna to go to my folders. 
under my logos and I'm gonna choose this photo right here and drag it in. You can go ahead and double click your photo and resize it if you want to make it bigger or smaller. So I'm just gonna resize it here. So it has my photo on there. So the next thing I wanna do is put my name and a niche statement. So I'm gonna go to text. I am going to select this one right here and put my name. I'm going to change the size and drag it about the middle right here. And then I'm gonna change the colors to match my brand color. So the front color right here is going to be in this a text color and you're gonna go ahead and select the color that you want so I'm gonna do black and then the background color you can change that by going to effects make sure you have it selected on the one that you'd want so this is the splice and then I'm going to change the color to the blue all right from there I'm gonna add a different text so I'm just gonna do this one I don't want the top and bottom so I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm just going to delete one and then I'm going to resize this to fit underneath and put my niche statement Okay, so once that's aligned where I want it, you can go ahead and change this color as well. So again, the front color is going to be the text color and I'm going to do that one black. And then the background color, I'm gonna go back to effects. This is the shadow one. And then I'm going to do this one, the blue, and then I'm going to darken it all the way. All right, so the last thing you wanna do is go ahead and put a subscribe logo here. So I like to do the animated ones for this one. So I'm gonna go back to elements. I'm going to type in animated subscribe. All right, and then you can choose any of these. I kind of like the more traditional one. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and size it down to fit right in the center there so this way it is even something else you can do is you can group these together because when you animate it depending on how you have it grouped depends on how it's going to look so for example if you do the block it'll just go across there if you do the rise they come up individually same thing with the baseline so i actually like this one but i want my picture and subscribe to come up with the background and then i want the name to come up separate so to do that i'm going to go ahead and click on the rectangle we have in the back and i'm going to lock it this way i can highlight the text and group that there i'm going to then move the text unlock the background and then i'm going to highlight all three of these and group those together and then this way i can just put this back to where i wanted it i'm going to also move this to about five seconds and then i'm going to play it to make sure it's how i like it all right so that is what it looks like so you can download from this page if you like it and make sure it's at mp4 and download and that's how you create your custom subscribe button okay so i'm going to show you how to remove the green screen using sony vegas pro although no matter what editing software you have on your pc you should be able to do the same thing your location from your chroma key just may be a little bit different than mine so the first thing i want to do is i want to make sure that i have the video that i'm trying to add the subscribe button to already in my editing software i'm going to right click and then i'm going to insert video track this way another video track appears for my editing software whichever one is on top is the one that's going to be shown so if i try to put my subscribe button down here it is not going to show up it, i need to make sure that it's actually on top the next thing i want to do is go ahead and upload my green screen subscribe button so i'm going to go to file open and that is in my download section because i just downloaded it and then i'm going to enter this in so the first thing i want to do is get rid of the green screen so i'm going to go to video effects where it says chroma key right here i'm going to select that and then i actually have one that already says green screen so this is how you remove it so i'm just going to drag it over on top of my clip and it should get rid of the green screen now something you're going to notice is it leaves it a little bit of a green hue to it but it's okay we can definitely fix that you can either move this around and it'll adjust and get rid of the green screen if you remember our green was a little bit darker once you have it adjusted I'm gonna go ahead and select this crop box here and this is where I can move my navigating YouTube button so if you just do this you should be able to move it down if you wanted to if you don't want to change the size then I would just scroll up like that and you can see it still kind of has that green box Okay, something else you could do if you can't get rid of this background is go ahead and insert another video track and then you're gonna insert the same clip again. You're gonna select effects on the one that you're going to keep. Go ahead and select the green color do this eyedropper here and then select the color on the screen. It's still gonna show it there because you are looking at the top one. Once you're done with that, go ahead and delete this top track 
and it should get rid of that green box because it's matching it exactly. One thing to note, if you guys can tell here, I have a teal color which is close to the green, so it is altering it. So that is something you need to be aware of. If you are working with anything in your logo that is green, it will get rid of the green there. So if you are working with a logo that does have any type of teal in there or like a greenish color, what you can do is have the background color something that is completely different than anything in your logo that you want. So I'm gonna choose this purple. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And then in my editing software, I'm going to upload the new one with the purple background. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So go ahead and add a track. Make sure to select chroma key and drag the default one down to the bottom one here. And then select the color, the eyedropper, and then on your screen, select that purple. It should match it up exactly. This way, when you get rid of this top one, because we were only using that one for color, it keeps your colors there. And then all you have to do is resize it and position it down to where you'd like it. If you guys like this tutorial, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what Canva tutorial you'd like to see next. But for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, you can go ahead and check out this video here. Also, put it down in the pinned comments below. Now get out there, make some content, let's grow together.